Hello everyone. In this video, we will showcase the remote state management features released as part of HashiCorp Terraform Cloud. To use the remote state management features, we will first create a new organization using the Terraform Cloud UI. The name of the organization, in this case, is a Mishra Demo Org. We will also enter an email associated with the org for notification purposes. Now let's go ahead and create our organization. As you can see, we've successfully created our organization and there's no state files listed yet. Next, let's take a look at our Terraform configuration for this example. Here, we have a simple Terraform configuration that creates an AWS instance. We have already created the AWS instance and we are storing our Terraform state file locally. So now if we run Terraform plan, we see that there's no changes to the configuration. Next, let's quickly take a look at our Terraform state file. The state file has an Amazon instance and this is stored locally as part of the project. Now let's use the Terraform remote state feature of Terraform Cloud. In order to move our local state file to Terraform Cloud, we will need an API token to access the Terraform Cloud APIs. We can now switch to the Terraform Cloud UI, go to our user profile, select settings, and generate a new API token by providing a description. As you can see, we've successfully generated our token. We can now copy this token and switch over to our terminal. We will now create a Terraform RC file. As you can see, the Terraform RC file can be used to specify the API token. You can also use environment variables to specify this token that allows Terraform CLI to connect to Terraform Cloud. Next, we will add a set of configuration that allows Terraform remote backend to be configured. Here, we'll specify the organization name, in this case, it's Mishra Demo Org and the workspace name. The workspace name in this case is just example. Next, we will run the Terraform init command that will initialize our Terraform environment and set up our remote state. It prompts us about copying a state from the local state file to the Terraform Cloud remote state backend. We say yes and we have now successfully migrated a local state to Terraform Cloud. Next, let's switch back to the Terraform Cloud UI and inspect a newly uploaded state. You can see we have a new workspace name called example, and we have a new state associated with it. The state file will look familiar to you. This is the same state file that you saw locally as part of the project. We can also use the full screen view to get a full preview of our state file. Next, let's make a few changes to our Terraform configuration. Let's add a new tag called name to our Amazon instance. We'll run Terraform plan to preview our changes. And we see the one name tag that's being added to our Amazon instance. We'll run Terraform apply and confirm our changes. We have successfully added a new tag to our Amazon instance. Let's switch back to our Terraform UI and see if there's any changes to state. We see a new state that's been pushed a few seconds ago. We preview our state file and you will notice a name tag has been added to the state file. We can also see the changes from the previous version to this version using the diff feature of the Terraform Cloud UI. So this is an example of remote state management features released as part of HashiCorp Terraform Cloud. Thank you.